What's up everyone, this is Save Knight and welcome to another Let's Play. Today's game is brought to you by Konami and I will be playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation 1. Copyright 1997 Konami, all rights reserved. Development by, the hell is that? Konami Computer Entertainment of Tokyo? Something like that? Fuck it, something. This is probably one of my favorite games for the PlayStation 1, alongside... Ooh, excuse me. Alongside probably Blood Omen... ...and... ...Legend of Mana... ...and... ...Legend of Lagaya was okay. And probably Beyond the Beyond... ...are my favorites for PlayStation. Let's go to do File Select. I'll go ahead and use my username. What the fuck am I looking for? Okay. Journey back to 1792 and the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. Looking back on it, you know, 97, you know, at the time were actually, you know, not too bad looking graphics. I mean, uh, excuse me. I mean, hell, I've seen games come out now that have crappier graphics than what they had, you know, what, 20 years ago? No, 20, 20? 90, yeah, 20 years, 97. years already, Jesus. Yeah. Damn thing. Now loading. Final stage bloodlines. Finger Richter. Trying to actually do this kind of quick because I need to do it on a thing. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls, and make them your slaves! Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. Yeah, you tell that asshole. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! But enough talk! How about you? Shit that so condescendingly is, like, I'll go out here by humans. I will fuck you too, asshole. Okay. Nope. No, this cannot be. No. reason why I tried beating him as fast as possible, which I'll explain in a second. It was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest's shaft. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the, out of the mist as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, 
the very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad the Pest Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now, he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. Considering there's like a dozen Castlevania games that have come out since this one, you can it's pretty safe to assume the good guys win, so yeah. This is Alucard, the half-human, half-vampiric son of Dracula, who you've also got to play as in Castlevania 3, if you've never actually played that one. Uh, the reason why I beat Richter the way that I did, super quick, was because how fast you beat him and how you beat him determine Alucard's starting stats. Meaning, like, the way that you beat him with Richter, like how much life he has, what sub-weapon he has, if he had a sub-weapon, because you can choose not to pick one up, whether you've used it or not, and how many times you've used it, how fast you beat him, how many hearts you had, etc., etc., will all actually determine shit. Like, the more hit points, the more life Richter had, the more HP Alucard has. Uh, the more hearts you have, or the more hearts he had, I think you'll get more hearts by like a certain percentage or something. Um, and for your stats, I think it's like how fast you beat him, I believe. I'm trying to remember offhand. But something like that. I think like the faster you beat it, the higher they are. Or something. I, I don't. It's something like that. I don't fucking remember. Now I'm on the sub menu screen for equip. Right hand, left hand, head, body, cloak, and two others, which are just like accessories. Uh, the reason it doesn't say like weapon and shield is because you can actually put a weapon or shield in either hand. So it's just left hand, right hand. Left hand by default is the square button, and right hand. I'm sorry. The I'm sorry, the right hand. Yeah. By default is the square button, I'm sorry. And the left hand circle by default, but you can change it up in the menu. There's that Alucard sword, Mother's Family Heirloom. Alucard shield, strong versus all attacks. Dragon helmet, frightens the enemy, lowers their defense. That's kind of cool. Alucard mail resists fire, ice, and lightning. Or fire, lightning, and ice if you're not dyslexic. Twilight Cloak, Black Cape for Vampires, and Necklace of Jade Defense plus 5. I think... Yeah, the, the cloaks increase constitution. That always brings up my strength. The helmet brings up your strength by four. So helmets usually bring up strength, but they normally bring up intelligence. That's defense. That's constitution. These would do any of the any or like any stat, I guess, and whatever. It's like fuck it, something. But um, the whole beating Richter thing, yeah, the whole. 
um, how fast you beat them, whether or not you have to summon Maria, and I'm actually going to show that in a second, and the things you had and when you beat them. The things you had when you beat them, so give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and just let him kill him here. <laughs> comes in, cast some like weird spell thing with animal spirits, boom shakalaka, and now he's invincible. So I mean, this cannot be. Same shit as before. So that's the only difference. So see it back at the other thing. Okay, I'm back, and that's pretty much all there was to it. Just doing that thing. Doesn't show any difference. Yeah, so, so, oh, I guess I can finish talking about the other stuff. Relics are special items you can pick up that you can turn off or on, and that do certain things like increase your stats or do something like a double jump, or at some point you can change forms into a wolf, bat, or mist. That's not until much, much later. And like other miscellaneous things like um see damage and shit and uh fucking like breathe underwater and crap like that. System button settings, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave everything by default. Just set everything to circle. Window color. the way that looks. And there we go. I'm in the castle entrance now. That's super dark except, except for the candles that are everywhere, so I don't know why it's dark, but whatever. Not sure what that was about. The way that the level up system in here works, it's like super weird from like the other like Castlevania games, well the later on ones for the PS2 and whatnot, in that um, every time you get a level up, not only will you need more XP to gain a level, but enemies will actually give you less um, XP for doing it. Like a certain enemy will give, like let's say 12. When you gain a level, they might only give you 10 or 9, and then when you get another level, it'll drop again to like 7 or 6 or some shit like that. So, I, so you can grind for a little bit in certain areas. I can see. Okay, I'm 134. These res, it's 119. That's what, 15? Try to get like another level right here just to get it. Uh. So I need 193. 181. That's 12. From 15, so I got three less this time. Uh. Hurts you right now. Shit. So it's fire, apparently. And you know what? That's good enough. Don't even really need to do that, but man. Man. Not sure what that was about either. Sealable. 
You can put it on, it doesn't do shit, it's just for monies. Pot roast, Castlevania pot roast, I think gives you like 50 or 75 hit points. That gives you like 100 turkey. And you have a neutron bomb for some reason. I don't know why you have a neutron bomb. Ah, Alucard. What is your business here? None yet. I've come to put an end to this. Motherfucker. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. Yeah, Bjorn. You shall regret those words. Who we will meet again. It's like you, what? motherfucker. <laughs> That's what happens when you walk in wearing your best shit. Oh, the triangle is also the back dash button, and I forgot to do something. Damn it. <sighs> Heart max up. I'm gonna just pick up a sword. Short sword. Common short sword. So attack, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Red rust. Rusty red sword. Two hands, and it's crap. And this is a save, which I'll go ahead and just do. Select as the map, which I'm actually going to skip that little area beneath the save because I can't get to it from this side. Obtain Cube of Zoe, which lets that happen. Or the actual description causes items to materialize. Mini candles will not drop shit. Screen transition. The Alchemy Laboratory, or laboratory for everyone else in the world. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and take care of that next time. There's a few areas of the map that I missed, the previous area, but I couldn't get to them because I either don't have the stuff to do it, or I just can't get to it from this side. So fuck it, you end up getting it anyway. So when we come back, I will take on the Alchemy Laboratory. So until then... This is Save Night on Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Later, guys.